Well, Duncan McLeod has been reporting on Telcom for over a decade now, and uh, we also got his analysis of the company's latest efforts to help curb costs. You know, Telcom has, has made it quite clear today that they're under a lot of financial pressure and that they need to do something quite urgently about these uh, cost cuts. And I think the Labour Court decision uh, last week uh, ordering them to suspend the Section 189 process of effectively forced retrenchments has, was, came, has come as a big blow to management, which is trying to reduce costs in the short term. And I think what they're saying is that um, it's actually urgent that they deal with these costs. Um, and in fact, uh, the sort of language that Sipo Maseko was using in the presentation today was uh, you know, the, the very survival of Telcom is at risk unless they do this. Just looking at the costs that Telcom is sitting on and, and comparing those costs to, to fixed line operating incumbents el elsewhere in the world, there, there's no doubt that they have to bring them down. Ten years ago, Telcom was a, was a dominant player in the, in the telecommunications market in South Africa and it had an effective monopoly over fixed lines. I think we're changing, seeing that change on a day-to-day -day basis. We're seeing just about every day a new, a new company or a company announcing that they're going to be deploying fiber to the home infrastructure uh, in a new suburb. And I, I think that Telcom's core business is actually coming under threat for the first time. You see, you know, they lost their, 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 their monopoly over undersea cables. They lost their monopoly over national long-distance infrastructure. And I think the final the final monopoly that they're now set to lose is that last mile and I think they're going to have to play very smart if they um, if they want to stay competitive in the space and it's, it, it must be very worrying for telecom you know they've got to manage the, they're going to be internally focused in managing this cost reduction process while at the same time the competition is coming after them so they've got these they've got they've got this internal problem that they need to resolve while also ensuring that they remain competitive and it's, a, it's very difficult to juggle both I think because management's eyes are off the ball while they're dealing with the unions and, and negotiating uh, you know staff reductions and that sort of thing, while at the same time there's startups and some of the established operators like Vodacom and MTN which are starting to target the fixed line market for the first time.